Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up your site plans in Revit. So I'm going to be going over how to set up the topo surface so it looks nice in the site plan. Then I'm going to show you how to label the actual surface contour lines so each contour line will have its own elevation label. Then I'm going to go to set up the project location as well as true north so the project will be oriented the right way and it will have the correct location. Then after that we're going to be doing some sun settings so the shadows will be perfect and after that I'm just going to be setting up some graphics in view and just adding the finishing touches like spot elevations as well as the north symbol. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay so let's get started. Here I have this project that I used a couple of videos ago. This is just a shipping container home and I've set up a nice little site plan for it. So we have a little beach over here with sand and that tutorial is in the description as well. So in the description you can find this shipping container tutorial as well as the beach in Revit tutorial. But now let's set up the site plan for this 3D view. Okay so this is what we're working with. We have our topo surface, we have some trees and we have our building. And now I'm just going to go here to site and first thing I like to do is I like to change the the actual scale and I'll change it to 200. I think this is correct for this current project I'm using and then I'm just going to move these elevation symbols out of the way so they're not messing up this thing. Okay so this is what we're working with. So here I've got some contour lines for this site but I don't like it it's kind of at the intervals are too large. So I'm going to go here to massing inside go to model site. Here we just need to change this increment to 50 centimeters and go apply and now as you can see we have a lot more of these contour lines and it looks a bit more professional I guess. Now I'm going to change the units because now this is in centimeters and I prefer meters for site plans. So I'm just going to type in UN and change this from centimeters to meters. Go apply and then also I would like to change this from zero decimal places to two decimal places and go OK, apply. OK, now let's add this label contour lines. So I'm just going to select this line and you just place it perpendicular to your contour lines so something like this and once you've placed it as you can see here we have our contour lines and you can always edit this line and as you can see the contours line contour labels will change accordingly to this line okay so once we've added this now let's keep going and let's add the project location as well as true north. So how do you do this? So first I'm going to go here to sun path and go to sun settings. Now this is where you set up the project location or you can of course go to manage and here find project location. Go to location and open this up. So you can either go through sun settings or through this. So here I'm just going to go to location and as you can see this is now in Boston, this is the default for Revit 2017 but you can kind of select it and then I don't know scroll out, I don't live in North America so let's go to the Balkans, yeah Serbia, Belgrade, there you go. Okay I'm happy now so I'm just going to go OK. So the project location is set up now, let's set up the project orientation or the true north. So you just select this thing in the middle, this little blue thing that's in every site plan and here you can see angle to north, to true north. So this project is at some angle and now you want to change this to angle to true north. So if true north is perhaps at 30 degrees or th minus 30 degrees to your project north you just go here and you type in I guess let's try minus 30 and go OK and as you can see nothing changed but if I go here and scroll down through properties for this floor plan and find just a second project north orientation project north and I change this to true north and go apply now you can see it kinda rotated by 30 degrees. So this is now placed correctly. Okay so once this is completed 
let's go and set up the sun settings so if I go here and turn on the shadows you can see the shadows are going this way now this is usually at 45 degrees that's kinda the the rule for shadows they go at 45 degrees but you want to change this to be more realistic I guess so to do that you need to open up this, this site set, sun settings dialog and go here to sun settings and you go here to still now here is where you can change the project location as well and now once you're here and still the project location is correct we like it and the date let's use today's date and let's let's use 10 a.m. that's okay that's the time of recording of this video and I'm just going to go to apply and you get this updater and you just go disable you go OK and you get the correct shadows so it looks like this and now these shadows might be a bit too dark and to change that just go here to visual styles go to graphic display options open it up and you go to lighting and you can change the shadows to something a bit smaller so let's go 30 yeah this looks a lot better it's not as aggressive I guess okay so once this is done let's change some graphics in view so here as you can remember from this 3d view I have this this beach and I have this sea line or sea or lake or whatever it's water and that's just loaded in as an in place family so I'm just going to select it right click over here go to override graphics in view by element and now once you're here you can go here to surface patterns and I'm going to change this color to some dark blue and for the pattern I'm going to search for some wavy sea like water like pattern and let's let's use this one perhaps go OK apply and now if you zoom in you can see that we have something that might resemble water to some people I guess and it looks a lot better it looks I, I guess more professional it has more elements okay so once we have this let's add some spot elevations so you would like to have some elevations for your projects and I'm just going to delete this stair line it's kinda annoying me a bit okay so let's add some spot elevations so I'm going to go here to the annotate tab and find spot elevation or you can use EL as the shortcut and as you can see as we move through our project you can see these numbers are changing the height numbers if we go here it's changing it's changing here it's changing especially here once we're going up this hill so let's place one here in front of the house kinda like that let's place this one here on the patio okay that's that's at the zero that's correct now let's place one here perhaps and let's do one here okay so once we have all these spot elevations let's do one here on the top of the hill I guess that would be cool because it's it's a hill I okay so we have our spot elevations and let's just do the north symbol I think that's important for site plans and then we're just going to set up the graphics a little bit and we will be finished okay so for the north symbol go here to symbol so that's on the annotation tab symbol palette and go symbol and you just open up this drop menu and find M North and you just place it wherever you want so this is kinda showing the North but this symbol is kinda ugly and I don't like it and you can go here to edit family and then you can edit it so you can use lines and perhaps add an arrow or something like that to be more precise and then you just go load into project and close and I'm not going to save changes because that would save changes on the original original symbol that's loaded in with Revit that's downloaded with Revit so let's keep this symbol as this and now let's set up the graphics a little bit so as you can see here our actual topo surface is kinda of has this shadow over here underneath and I don't like this this doesn't look realistic at all so I'm going to go here to annotate tab and I'm just going to find region filled region and you go here and you find solid black and I'm going to go to edit type and change it from black to white and once I've done this and go apply OK now I can create it kind of a mask if you will for this topography or for this shadow so I'm just going to go like this 
and just go all the way around and create a mask so we don't have to look at this okay and finish it off over here then you go just finish and as you can see this is just a white line now this doesn't look really good as well and also we have this line over here and this line over here the kind of the contour of our or contour okay of our topo surface and I, I don't like it it just stands out too much so I want to mask it as well and how do you do that we need to create a new white line that we're going to be using to mask this existing line and it needs to be a thick white line so I'm going to go here to manage additional settings line styles and go new and let's just call it white and for the size I'm going to use maximum size 16 for the color white and then leave it at solid go apply OK and then you go to annotate and you go to detail line or use the shortcut DL and then here you choose white and make sure that thin lines is turned off because the these are kind of thick lines and you want to have them thick and you just go all the way around your project and you mask everything and then later on we'll return to mask the other portion up there okay so we have this and then let's just mask this part as well okay and there you go we kind of mask these ugly lines and then in the end I'm just going to set up the crop region so just go crop visible and then let's make this smaller perhaps like that okay even smaller and let's just move this symbol in a bit and let's move this elevation down a bit okay there you go and let's just remove these lines over here and you just go here to properties and you turn on crop region visible okay there you go so we have a pretty decent looking site plan with all the details added to it thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day